Hey everyone! So, in the past year I've uploaded many videos of me light painting my car. In this video I'm going to show you what is light painting, what I use, how I light paint and my camera settings. So what is light painting? Light painting is um, painting a subject with light. It's, it is what it is. In this case the subject that we're using is a car. The light from the light source can highlight and define a car's shape or form. It produces a different image than a single shot that you would usually take of a car. It makes it look like a studio-like photo. So how can we achieve this? Here is what I use. Obviously you need a light source. Keep in mind, using a smaller light source, such as a torch from your phone, can work, but it requires more work on various panels. This is what I had. I first used this light and although it worked fine at the start, I realised that it didn't give me the right coverage or enough power. I used modifiers for this light to give me more coverage, but then it wasn't bright enough, there wasn't enough power. So I bought this instead. This light has a lot of power and it does what I wanted my old light to do. Only problem is I haven't got a softbox or barn doors for the light so a lot of my images show a lot of light leaks but I'm not too worried about that because that can be masked out during post processing in photoshop. Next you'll need a steady tripod. Obviously you'll need a camera. A camera that can take long exposure and have manual controls is ideal. Finally, well this is optional, a shutter remote. This is useful so you don't move the camera. Sometimes even a steady tripod, it is possible to move the camera even just by millimetres can disturb your workflow during post processing. Okay, let's get shooting. As a base, my camera settings are usually ISO 100, f14 and 15 seconds and play about with that to match your settings and scene. Note, some people will say that you have to go to really really dark places where there's no light. This can work but I prefer places with a bit of background light or ambient light so there's more to look at than just a car with a black background. Once my composition and camera settings are done I always take a base shot with no light at all. This is important for later, trust me, it is important. Usually my settings are ISO f14 15 seconds as my starting point and you will work from there and you would adjust accordingly depending on the scene. The next step is to paint the car with your light, going from one end to another. It is also important that I've learned that it's best to keep the light up quite high above the car. To me having the light shine on the side of the car doesn't look right and it doesn't look natural in my opinion. All these photos that I've done, the light is above the car and I've kept it consistent. For detail shots such as your badges, tires, wheels, grills, I would move closer with the light but I would still have the light shining from top down. I never have the light shining from bottom top because it doesn't look natural as I said and you want to try and keep your image as consistent as possible. And that's all there is to it. Try and be consistent with your light, hold it up high, play with your camera settings and go around the car. Once that is done and you're happy enough, then it's all a matter of taking it into Photoshop and blending everything in and masking everything out, but I'll leave that to another tutorial. In my opinion, for beginners, I think it's best that you start off not shooting a whole car, but maybe shoot a panel at a time, just to get that feel and what you can do with the camera and what your light can do. Anyways, that is the video. I hope you learned something. Now you know how I light paint. I'm going to leave you with a few photos that I've done over the past year. And it's exactly what I've just told you. Keeping your light consistently high and just taking your time. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.